Okay, today I'm going to be going over electromagnetism and how to build a telegraph. And the items you're going to need to conduct this experiment are a battery, any kind of DC battery will do, some insulated solid wire. Now this I stripped out of this gigantic roll of electrical telephone wire. Something to cut and strip your wire with. I just got these nippers here that I was using. Some short nails. Some small nails. These are these are seven eighths, but anything will do this semi short. And this is a box of 20D four inch nails. Um, I've got a large battery here, which I'm going to use for the telegraph. This battery I'm going to use just to just demonstrate an electromagnet. I got some paper clips here, and some ferrous material that are in strips. Uh, ferrous meaning uh, magnetic. These are steel, and these are brick ties. Right here, I got a package of a hundred of these for about 350. You don't need nearly this many. You really only need two, but um, these work really well. You can get any kind of strips of metal, as long as they're magnetic, and a block of wood. The first thing I'm going to go over is the basic theory of electromagnetism. And what that means is wherever you have flow of electricity, you also have a magnetic field. So if I were to take this piece of wire and run a current through it, with my battery, my battery, um, it will create a magnetic field around this piece of wire. Now it's a very weak electrical field because you're only going through one strand. But if I made a loop in this wire, I would double the strength of the magnetic field. And then if I put four loops through, I would double it again. So, if I made a lot of loops around this wire, I would create a pretty significant magnetic field, which we could measure and actually be able to demonstrate. So, what I would do is I'm going to wrap this wire around this nail, which is um, a ferrous material, which means it's attracted to magnets, and try to create an electromagnet. So, I'm going to wind my wire around this nail and this is approximately six feet of solid wire and I like to use solid you can use stranded but the solid's gonna stay in place it's not gonna try to unwind on you from this nail and um, you can be neat with this but just for time's sake I'm just gonna wind it on around And I'm going to strip the ends. Strip the. Now you got. You, you need to make sure that you. This is insulated wire. Is if you use non-insulated wire to do this, um, it's just going to short out against each other, and it's not going to work. It's just going to create. Instead of going around, the current is just going to go straight through and out the other side. If you use non-insulated wire. So I've stripped the ends, and I'm going to dump some paper clips out. I'm going to connect one end of the wire to the negative, one end of the wire to the positive. And now when I let go of one side, I, it drops all of these things. So what I'm doing is, is basically I'm at, this is acting like my switch. And then here is my coil, which is creating a magnetic field around here whenever I apply current to it. And then I have my battery as my power source. And then, so in this way, this is what we're basically going to be doing to make our telegraph. In this section, we'll be taking our basic theory 
of wrapping the wire around the nail to create an electromagnet and expanding on that to create a telegraph. And the items we're going to need is we're going to need a block of wood. This is going to be an 8 inch by 8 inch block of wood that I'm using here. We're going to need some nails and some smaller nails. The solid core wire to create our coil and our magnetic strips of metal here, which I went over earlier. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap our nail with our wire. Now, I used 20 feet of wire, insulated wire, to create this, and you hook this, you can do this by hand and do it very neatly, and it takes a long time, or you can do it a little quicker by putting the nail and chuck it into a drill, and then get the wire started, and then use the drill to wind your winding up because you're going to need 20 feet of this. And in the next section, I'm going to be going over how to drill your holes, pre-drill your holes into your block of wood. All right, so I've pre-marked my measurements on this uh, T-square to um, coincide with my prototype for the nail holes on my prototype so that they match up against my leaf spring here and also this other one right here so that I know how to make all of my other ones here and so I pre-marked my holes so this is the two holes for the base of my leaf spring and this is the hole for the contact of my switch and then here's the hole for the sounder and then I pre-drilled the larger holes for the larger nails for this is the coil and these are my four connectors this is for my transmitting and these two are going to be for my receiving now I left the space large enough here for the battery so I'm just gonna Done ones. I'm going to drill this hole a little more shallow than the rest because I want that um, nail to stick up a little bit and so now I have all of my holes pre-drilled so that all my nails will fit in and then my smaller nails over here that are going to be securing my pieces of metal are not going to split the wood when I try to hammer in the nails and it will give a snug fit but um, I don't run the risk of having anything split. Ta-da!